Hello, I'm Stefan Graber. I work on containers. I'm the LXC project leader, and that's where I work from. So uh, the room we're in here is my small home office. Um, the machine over there is my main desktop machine. It's a pretty simple, really compact i5 that's hidden somewhere below the desk uh, with two pretty big displays attached to it. Um, got a desk phone here for those conference calls that I have to go through occasionally. Um, my phone there and when I'm not working from home, I usually work on that thing here, which is my laptop. Um, on the other table here, I've got laser printer and another desk when I need to hook up some other machine. At the window, you can see snowy winter in Canada. Um, and that's pretty much all I've got in my office up here. Um, that's because everything else, all the usually noisy stuff, I've decided to just store downstairs in the basement instead. So in the corner there, I've got uh, another workstation, small netbook, and in the shelf, I've got a bunch of phones. The first one here is used for LXE on Android development and testing. And the last one here is an Ubuntu phone, which also makes use of LXE containers to run Android in the background. And then I've got a Nokia N9 over there. Um, I've got some more storage for that workstation here. And then the rest of the stuff is sitting in here, which is my small rack. Um, we can see a bunch of switches. Um, then I've got some um, a PDU down there, uh, which lets me power cycle and control everything in the rack. Um, I've got VIP equipment. And up here is my main ARM development board, a quad core machine that I use for LXE testing, um, LXE builds, and producing container images. Um, that's my modem. And in front of the rack, we can see the router, which is the first machine up here. Then my main server with a ton of storage, got 48 terabytes in there. Um, it's a pretty nice machine. Uh, can take a ton of RAM. It's got two uh, six cores, Xeon CPUs. Uh, I use it to run all kind of VMs and well, anything else that requires a ton of power. And below it is my UPS, which makes sure that everything else in this house can run for about an hour and a half when there's a power cut. Everything else um, that I've got tends to just be stored in boxes in the shelf over there. So I'll only unpack and plug. Uh, those things when I actually need them. Um, so there it is. I can access everything remotely, power cycle or control everything uh, wherever I am. So that's pretty nice when traveling to conferences or other work meetings. And well, that's about it. <laughs>